Done. You've installed the OBB. Now you can install the AB. It's a me, Game Jacker. And today I'm gonna give you the complete guide on how to install APK mods, XAPKs, OBBs, and all that good stuff. So you can use modded apps on Android easily. As always, all the links will be down in the description. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and let's go. So there are several different types of APKs that you can install on your Android device. There are simple signed APKs. Those are very easy to install. You simply install them as any other APK. No issues whatsoever. However, then there are unsigned APKs. Those will require a root to install correctly and to get them to run. Then we have also OBBs and XAPK files that are very closely related, but I'm going to get into that a little bit later. So let's get started with the simple signed APK. There is no issues with that. Google doesn't notice anything different about those. So all you can do, we're just going to pretend this is a modded APK. You simply install the downloaded APK file and you can use it and that's all there is to it. Now, the unsigned APKs, those are a little bit more difficult. Those will fail a signature verification check. So you need a tool such as Lucky Patcher. How to use, link in the description, by the way, leave a like while you're there. And you need to use these tools to disable the signature verification. So in this case, I have Lucky Patcher on my device. In order to disable signature verification on Android in your Lucky Patcher, go to Toolbox go to patch to Android and then simply check signature verification status always true and disable APK signature verification to make your Android device ignore signature verification. And since you're patching your Android, this requires a root always. Apply and you're done. Now let's get to OBB files and XAPK files. They're very closely related as XAPKs are essentially just packages that unite your APK and your OBB files. Now, of course, we all know the APK file. If you go to your download folder, if you've downloaded any APKs, those look something like this. Now, the OBB will generally be a folder like this. It's a package name, comearnmoneycarolpool.com, whatever. Um, it's basically a package that identifies the app and the developer of the app, and that stores vital data about the app and downloaded data that gets downloaded after you install the app. So. This folder will generally come with an OBB requiring APK download. What you're gonna wanna do in this case is copy the folder, go to your storage, go to Android, go to OBB, and then simply paste the folder in there. Done, you've installed the OBB, now you can install the APK and generally these mods will work fine. Now. The last one is the XAPK file. I have one on my desktop right here. Now the thing about XAPK files is that they are essentially OBB files packaged with the XAPK file together, so you only have to download one file. Now these files can simply be unpackaged just like a zip file in order to reveal the APK and OBB inside. I'm just gonna demonstrate that on my, on my desktop right here. I'm just gonna rename this to .zip instead of .xapk, .zip. And then I will just simply, yes, change it. I will simply unzip that into a new folder. There you go. And inside we will find the APK file and an Android folder containing the OBB files. Here is the package name. Again, what you're gonna wanna do with this is simply download your favorite WAR or SIP file extraction tool, unpackage the XAPK file, again, copy the OBB folder into your Android OBB folder, install the APK contained within the XAPK file and you're done. Now lastly, how do you figure out which of these installation methods you need to use? By the way, link to the tutorial down below. Now, if you can simply install your APK and it works right away, you have a simple signed APK mod. If it doesn't work, it fails a verification or signature verification, you have an unsigned APK mod you need to have a rooted device or emulator, links down in the description as well, and use Lucky Patcher in order to disable the signature verification. If you have an XAPK file or OBB files, 
you simply need to unpackage the file or use the OBB folder directly into your Android OBBs, paste it there, install the APK, and you're done. If it's an XAPK file, first extract it and then do the same thing. But generally, people that made the mod or APK, they will tell you which installation method to use. So you can simply go to tutorial down in the description below, follow it, and you will be just fine. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's how to install all the kinds of APKs and APK mods, including XAPK files. I hope this helps, of course, to find legitimate APK mods. What you're going to want to do is Google game hacks, go to hackerbot.net, go to get cheats, go to our hack finder tool, enter the name of your game, the cheat that you're looking for, Android, iOS, PC, everything is possible. Look for it, download the latest working APK mods for your game and enjoy. Anyways, guys, that is it from me. I hope this helps. Leave a like for the video, subscribe to the channel. Game Jacker out.